Hi, in this video we are going to demonstrate how to do the one arm alternative tricep extension. The purpose of this exercise is to stimulate the tricep muscle. Right, the first thing to do is to take a seat, put your feet in a comfortable position. You do not have to keep them shoulder width. Some people find it comfortable to put one foot forward and one foot back, depending on which arm they are using to do the exercise. And then they'll swap the feet for the other arm. Right. It's really whatever is comfortable for you to maintain a balance. Now, in order to get this exercise right without any injury, one's got to be vertical. Got to sit with the back straight and got to sit vertical. We don't want to see this lean and leaning. This will give you later problems. Okay, assuming position, when we do this exercise, we want to expand our rib cage and get into a correct posture gym position. Shoulders back, chest out, neck straight. Perfect. Now the uh, Michael is ready to perform the exercise. He's got weight in hand and he's going to demonstrate with his left hand, he's going to do four reps. Right. Starting position is uh, vertical like that. And he's going to now do four reps. The important thing to remember is that this part of the arm should not be moving. His body should stay in alignment. And the only part that should be moving is his forearm ending here and going to behind his neck. He's going to demonstrate four reps. Right. Now, some people do this exercise offering themselves a little bit of support with the alternative hand. Right, he's going to demonstrate still with the same arm, but now offering himself support with his right hand. Right. And that's just a matter of comfort. Some people do opt for this position. It's not wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. Go for it. Right. Some people also put their hand on their chest when they do it. Also nothing wrong with it. Okay, right, he's going to demonstrate three reps on with his alternative hand. Okay, right, he's going to now do three reps, just demonstrating the side view with the correct form. Go for it. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, moving into the analysis. First thing is first, before you start the exercise, you've got to get the posture right. If you look at this posture, you can see there's rounded shoulders, chest is not out. Now the shoulders are back, being pinned back each side and chest is out. Back is straight and now he's ready to do the exercise. Side view of this. Look at that straight back, shoulders back, chest out. You can take a shoulder width position. It's okay if you put one leg forward and one leg back, back as long as you stay balanced on the platform, on the chair. Okay, what's good here? First thing, vertical, a vertical line, balanced position on the chair. Look at this position here. There's no problem here. The, what we don't want to see, we don't want to see the arm going there. And the reason is, is that the minute your arm goes past this 90 degrees, gravity is then assisting you in getting the weight up, believe it or not. Now, some people find it more comfortable to put their arm here as opposed to here. It's fine, as long as you minimize the amount of swinging. Some people, just because of their mobility, have a more comfortable position here. And then that means their forearm will then go like that and they'll move to and fro. Some people are more comfortable here, as I've just said. But what you must keep in mind is that then your forearm will be ending there and you'll be going back. The point is, is that 
the upper arm, your tricep, should actually not be moving or minimally moving. Right, just to be clear, there is some motion on this elbow joint. And what I'm saying is that if the elbow joint is left in this position, if you look at this line, look at the trajectory, that is too far. It is too far out because what happens is the vertical is sitting there. And if you are ending there, this part here becomes more bicep work if the bicep then gets contracted and also gravity is now helping you so what i'm saying is that when you when you uh, extend the weight up this will move in a little bit but the most important thing is where you end with the weight if for example you do not have you it's you find it difficult to have your elbow closer to to this uh, vertical position and that's the comfortable position for you for your elbow okay so then when you're extending the weight you got to make sure that when you're getting close to the top of the motion you shouldn't be going over that point and at that point that means you'll have to move your elbow in a little bit you can see you're going to move in there a little bit otherwise you're going to end there now ideally if you could start the exercise with your elbow more in this position, then when you end, you will be close to the vertical position, not over the vertical position. But again, it is a comfort aspect. And some people do find it quite hard to have their shoulder close to their ear. And that is why I say it's not the end of the world if you do move your shoulder a little bit to and fro. It's more about where you end. And just to recap, if you're ending over the verti the the if you had to draw a vertical line here and if you're ending on this side of it you are actually minimizing the tension on your tricep and then effectively in my opinion cheating if you are able to keep your elbow more in then this uh, challenge does not affect you that much because by keeping your elbow more in you'll see that when you extend it you are very close to the horizontal position And there you go. What I'm trying to highlight is that you should not be going over this 90 degree. The minute you go over the 90 degree, gravity, for example, let me just explain this. If you are over the 90 degree, where is the force pulling? The force is pulling down because of gravity. So what's actually happening is gravity is actually assisting you which means that your tricep becomes less stressed and the point of doing this exercise is to actually stress the tricep muscle to actually stimulate it for growth so if you go past this horror this uh, vertical position by putting your elbow too far there then you're actually no longer using your tricep you actually start bringing in your bicep to balance this arm Okay, this is the side view, just having a look at the form, straight back, flat, and uh, shoulders as back as possible, chest out. Could put your neck a little bit further back, but nevertheless, that's what we want to see. Good form there. Tricep is fully stimulated. Right. We're now going to demonstrate the poor format. This is the wrong way to do the exercise. We're just showing you. So if you see yourself, if you feel, see yourself in the mirror doing this, this is what we would say is incorrect. The first one is not having the correct back and neck posture. You can see now his back is curved. His neck is, is not in alignment. He's not sitting up straight anymore, haunching. Right. The next one is poor format in the arm. Right. He's going to be almost waving his arm showing you how he's got no control over the weight you can see there his whole body is shifting his arm is moving right look at the arm travel look at the arm traveling incorrect 
Okay, we now got the side view just demonstrating the posture. The posture is very important for good form. Michael is going to show you how not to do this. Right, he's going to demonstrate a bent back skew neck. Go for it. Right, you can see how he's not even going up straight. His back is incorrect. Okay, now we're looking at the boo-boos, the do not do's. Look at this uh, posture. Look at that neck. Not good. Not good for your neck. Next thing. If you have a look, you can see the arm, it's very much uh, out. It depends how he's bringing it up, but if he brings it up, and if I extend this line, you can see that that would be incorrect. If I followed this line on, on the trajectory, you could see that it's way past the vertical position, so that angle is a little bit problematic. Here we go. It's not too bad. The only thing I'm criticizing here is if you look at the position, it's almost like his whole body is actually leaning. You can see he's leaning there and also he's no longer sitting flat on the chair. You can feel like his one glute is probably pressing harder on the chair than the other and that imbalance is not good. What he could have done to counteract that is move this foot backwards in order to counteract this arm. The, head, the weight, he would move this foot backwards. If his foot was here, then he would actually counterbalance this and actually sit level. Ooh, terrible. You can see now what has happened. A total exaggeration here. He's leaning that way. And look at his arm is leaning that way. So now this is poor form once again. From the side view, what do you see? Oh, look at that C. Terrible, terrible form. Look at this. Shoulders are no longer back. They're rounded. Chest is, his neck is, uh, his face is, is buried in his chest. He's not going to isolate that tricep very well. And he may get uh, some tension on his neck.